Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today, five cool things that you can do outside of the box on Snapseed. Let's start the video. I did a lot of tutorials about Adobe apps like uh, Lightroom and Photoshop Mix and all of that. But to be honest, every time that I publish on Instagram, it passes through Snapseed. I think it's just uh, fair to Snapseed to make a video about it. So you should realize by now that this video it's not the usual 16 by 9, it's actually 9 by 16. So I will share my thoughts about this video format on the end of this video, but for now let's start with Snapseed. Well done! First tip, actually this is not a tip, I'm gonna just go to settings and activate the dark mode and like so you actually can see uh, where I am clicking. So let's go back. I already shared how Snapseed works on another video, so for this video I'm gonna just focus on the cool stuff you can do with it. If you remember the tutorial about Photoshop Mix app, I merged three photos together. Let's do the exact same thing on Snapseed. Let's go then to Tools and use double exposure. Double exposure it's a cool feature that you have on Snapseed to make some mixing things but uh, in this tutorial I'm gonna use it to mix layers. So let's add another photo here, let's add like the windows here and in here you can see the different light modes to merge with the photo so I'm gonna use just darken because it's what I want to use and here we have the opacity I'm gonna just crank it up to 100 and accept this and as you can see everything is dark not exactly what I want but if I go up here I can view edits and here it is our first double exposure and I actually can do a mask by default you don't see anything but if you invert the mask, you can see that we have everything here. So I'm gonna invert it again. And now I'm gonna activate the red eye because the red eye will show what I am doing actually on the picture, like so. And I'm gonna use the square to navigate. Here we have it. I'm gonna be just a little bit rough just to show you the effect really quick. And double tap to zoom out and if I deactivate this you can see that I recovered the details of the layer before. Let's approve this and let's go back. Now let's add the light on the door. Let's import that photo. So tools, double exposure again. Let's use this image. Of course what I want to do is add lightning. Approve this and as you can see the windows start to be overexposed again so I have to do a mask again view edits double exposure do the mask and let's just paint in this beautiful light coming out the door boom boom how awesome and how cool is that so what we're gonna do next it's edit raw so the raw files of your smartphone, the DNG, the Snapseed can edit them, but do you know from your DSLR it actually can edit too? Maybe not the most recent cameras because sometimes it needs to update, but uh, usually you can. Let me just show you. Open and let's go to details and as you can see here, this image here, it's called CR2 image. This is the raw format from Canon and gets directly in develop mode and I can actually edit the image on raw. Really nice! And as you can see, I, I can try to recover the max of details from this image like so. If you don't have the histogram here, you just have to press on it and there we go. As you can see, I can use all the details that the raw files offers and let's approve this and here we go if you go back to tools you have develop mode if you want to go back and recover the raw tools all over again really cool and really simple ah 
the next big tip is that Snapseed preserves the metadata. What the hell is the metadata? It's the information carried out in the file explaining how it works. The best example that I can show you guys is with 360 Photos. This is the app that came with the camera Insta360. And uh, as you can see, I did took this picture, but me, in this picture, I'm way too dark. Let's export this locally. 360 photo. And now I'm gonna go to Snapseed, import it, like so. You can't really use a lot of effects on this, but uh, detail, curves, white balance, and all that stuff you can use without making awkward stuff. So let's go just to image tune go to the shadows pump it up maybe a little bit of ambience add a little bit of warm i want this image to be a little bit more warmer and remove the contrast a little bit okay let's approve this and let's edit with the curves i'm gonna add some contrast by hand like so i already like it let's export this image Let's reopen it on the Insta360 one. Let's open it. And here we have it, a way better 360 photo. The next tip is that you can create intensive looks on Snapseed. So I'm gonna use my camera to take a picture here. Up, boom. Let's go then to Snapseed. And now I'm gonna edit this image like I would edit. So tools. As you can see, there is a lot of work on this image, a lot of try and error, but I want to save this look and all the things that I did. So let's go to looks, go all the way to the end. Let's add one. I'm gonna call this and save. There we go. So let's do another photo for you guys to show you what I mean. Some pictures give more work than others to be made. Let's open this photo over here. Let's go to Snapseed tutorial. Accept this. I want to change the text now. Up, you edit, text, let's edit. Port. save how cool it's simple is that so if you want to share the same look all over again on your social media like some uh, Instagrammers do good time saver so this is a cool feature to know well then the last tip that I want to share with you guys is develop film really yes I did take this picture last year with an old film camera and uh, here we have the negative. I had to photograph it. If you want some tip to photograph, just use the screen of your computer or your smartphone. Uh, usually I photograph it on macro mode. And a cool tip is give some distance from the screen so the pixels of the screen won't show up on the negative of the picture. But a good thing is to photograph in RAW. So let's go to open this on Snapseed and here we have it on develop mode and for the moment I won't change anything because I don't know what the hell I'm doing because everything it's inverted in film so let's approve this and let's go to tools and now in tools you realize that there is no invert color image and that could be a problem except if you know how curves work you know that down here is the control of the blacks okay if I push this like so everything start to get blacker in black 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 and if I use on the top here and push this thing up and it, everything starts to be white 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 so in theory if I invert this like so so if I say that the whites are black and the blacks are white 
here we have our image developed. How cool is that? Now you can see that the white balance is a little bit off. I need to warm up this image. Let's go back to tools and to develop. It goes back to the raw editing option. So let's go back to temperature and let's pull this. So I have to explain this. As this will be the inverted image, you need to work around it invertedly on raw. So we need to put it colder here and we'll get warmer on the negative as you can see here how cool and awesome is this you should work a little bit more this image like add some and the cool thing is if i zoom in you can see that the film grain and look stills on the image how cool and awesome is that well then let's talk about vertical video ah okay Ooh. Better? <laughs> Honestly, I'm not a great fan of vertical video because it's maybe because I am a traditional guy, but uh, because I like to explore the media as best as I can, and vertical video isn't the best way because I am more focused on the center of the image than actually the whole image itself, like the, the horizontal video usually provides, and that's my opinion. And I wonder which video idea I could use to use vertical video and this one it's the more logic one because I am screenshotting my smartphone if you are wondering which smartphone is this one it's a um, OnePlus 6T and I really love the powerful processor I want to know what you guys think vertical video yes or no and why please uh, leave it on down on the comment and uh, I guess I this will be the first video that I'm gonna share on uh, Instagram TV IG or whatever it's called and it's vertical honestly I am in the mood to share more videos on Instagram and I will post them horizontally and you just use it instead of use it like this just use it like so because Instagram doesn't rotate the image there we go so I don't think I will do more videos vertically because this is really awkward but I really want to know what you guys think leave it down on the comments so drop a like if you learned something comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this I am Miguel until next time see ya